Hello dear traders, my name is Tim and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with uh, Britain. The oil market continues to grow. Positive dynamics uh, is helped by forecasts from APEC and the International Energy Agency. Those APEC representatives predict an increase in the fuel demand in China this year due to the easing of quarantine restrictions, which in turn will act as a catalyst for a global economic recovery. World oil demand in 2023 may increase by 2.2 million barrels per day, or 2.2 percent. Experts from the International Energy Agency noted that the growth in energy consumption in China will lead to increase in global demand by 1.9 million barrels per day. Coupled with the reduction in the supply of oil from Russia, Brent oil has the potential for further growth. Next, EURUSD. The euro ended the last session in positive territory, near 1.0830. The euro was supported by the comments of the head of the ECB, Christine Lagarde, at the forum in Davos. She noted that the central bank will stick to the policy of raising rates, adding that the labor market in Europe has never been as growing as it is now. What's more, uh, she said uh, they see no easing in inflation expectations, uh, which uh, clearly hints uh, at a multiple rate hike to come. A similar position was uh, expressed by the representative of the ECB class Knot. Knot said uh, there would be more than 150 basis point hike in interest rates, adding that the market participants uh, may be underestimating the ECB's intention to cut prices. Against this background, the growth of um, the euro may continue. And finally, ODUSD. The Australian currency continues to weaken against the dollar, reacting to data on the national labor market. Thus, the unemployment rate remained at the same level of 3.5% instead of the expected decline to 3.4%. The overall employment rate unexpectedly decreased by 14.6 thousand instead of the expected growth by 22.5 thousand. Rates by the Reserve Bank of Australia, which has already increased it by 300 basis percentage points since April 2022, and is likely to continue tightening monetary policy as strong price growth in the country continues. There is a risk that such a policy could worsen economic condition and provoke a further decline in the ODUSD pair. So these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.